Now to a sinking situation happening at this marina in Dania Beach. Just take a look at this boat as it dips lower and lower in the water. And authorities say they found it by following a fuel spill right back to its source. Local Tensi Amore Hong live with more Leanne. And just seconds ago, a crew here who's been contracted responsible for installing some booms around this boat and around this fuel spill have just arrived. They're taking a look at the situation to see what they're going to do to make sure this fuel doesn't spread any further. Sky 10 above a half sunken boat in Dania Beach. The 50 foot sport fisherman dubbed the wooden nickel, spilling gallons of fuel into the water. A crew aboard a Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue boat spotting the boat docked off North Ocean Drive just after 1 p.m. Tuesday and immediately calling the Coast Guard. Our primary concern is the safety of the public and the environment. And so we were out here assessing the situation. Um, and as the tide uh, continued to uh, come in, it, it changed the situation a little bit. So. We're going to take action to uh, mitigate the, the discharge. The view from above shows the distance the gasoline was able to travel. Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue estimating at least 10 to 20 gallons have been spilled. The Coast Guard calling in help from an outside contractor to keep the fuel from spreading further. We're going to put some uh, boom uh, around the vessel and what that does is kind of contain the fuel from uh, going further down the intercoastal waterway um, just to kind of contain it and we'll, uh, as it continues to discharge or leave the vessel, we'll uh, collect it uh, with a sorting pad. It's kind of like taking a sponge and collecting those materials and then we'll discard them properly. As the Coast Guard continues to monitor the situation, they're asking for swimmers to stay away from the water near this boat for their own safety. Just because of uh, diesel, gasoline fumes, um, and we'll advise them to, to leave the area. And again, that crew from CBI Environmental Services called in at the request of the Coast Guard. They just arrived. We know that the Coast Guard did make contact with the boat's owner. It will up to ultimately be up to him to get this boat out of the water. As far as whether he'll face any sort of penalty or any sort of consequences for what happened here, they say it's still too early to tell all of this is still under investigation. We are live in Dania Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.